All right, so I have been seeing a lot down in the comments. Vinny, have you been seeing what ICT's been doing on Twitter? And I'm like, no, I really haven't. I've uh, been a little bit busy, got uh, sick kids, and uh, uh, had my first round uh, with COVID myself. And, you know, getting back into things, and some people sent some things over to me that, uh, honestly, I, I listened in, and I, I really couldn't believe what I was listening to. So, um I figured to, it's it's time. We're gonna go ahead and um, bring back up some ICT, the real ICT, not that fluff and fake BS and all of his little fake Instagramming and his fake videoing and whatnot. Uh, none of that stuff. Let's just get into the raw nitty gritty. Um, I'm gonna start with uh, one of the videos that somebody sent over to me here. Uh, apparently it was related to me, or I don't know, Curse, he can't say my name. He's still a little bit too scared to say Vinny E. Mini, but that's okay. This uh, pony boy right here, uh, man, he, uh, he has a, a, a bit of a mouth and a, uh, and a temper. Um, so l listen, uh, let's go Fat Fraud Boy. Um, let's listen to uh, to that to the sound of your voice. It's been a while. If you came here, you came here to learn. That's it. If you wait, came here, wait, 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 shit, wait. Then... That's too fast. That's too fast. Hold on. We've got that. That's some high speed action here. Hold on. All right. Let's try it again. If you came here, you came here to learn. That's it. If you came here to size up with me, bring your fucking shit. Let's go. I ain't fucking waiting around no more. There's two. <laughs> you ain't waiting around no more, bro. Uh, ICT, listen, bro. Um, you keep saying the word step, bro. I have more than stepped. I have put my entire body in front of your face, and you are too scared to look me in the eye, bro. You keep uh, you keep talking like nobody stepped to you to tell you to get into a trading competition so that everyone can see how terrible you actually are. I am right here, bro, but let's listen to the ICT. He, he really has some things to say here. Let's go. Two dicks out there running around saying they could beat my ass in trading. <laughs> Motherfucker! I, I'm sorry, was, was that a Joe Biden moment? Um, I have no idea what he just said right there. Let's rewind in a minute. If you guys can make out for me what he says in this little <laughs> You guys tell me what he said here. I, I, I can't tell. You tell me. Um, okay, I think he might have burst a blood vessel in his fat neck. I'm not sure, but uh, you guys tell me. Why the fuck am I still working on you, bitch? What? How many fucking weeks and months do I gotta fucking wait around? I'm um, right here, bro. Um, we've been out there for a while and told you to pony up that three million in the escrow, and then you all of a sudden pretend like you can't hear. You can't hear anything. You're like, all you gotta do is go out there and step, Vinny, put it out there in public. It's been out there in public, bro. Everybody knows it. You know it. I know it. Tom Dante knows it. The entire world of trading knows I have stepped to you to say, come into a real trading competition, not this Robin stuff. You're gonna tell me to go over there and hop through hoops for a year before you join in the competition. A real competition, real simple. You won't do it. Don't. I don't know why you're going off on this little tangent here, but uh, let's let's let everybody see the real you, bro. I'm gonna I'm gonna help everybody out. You've been helping him out. I'm gonna help him out. You be you, bro. You just keep being you. Motherfucker, let's go. Sitting around fucking making stupid ass fucking. Making up stupid ass. Okay, uh, a little Joe Biden moment. Uh, you you having a hard time there, bro? Ugh, motherfucker. Man, you better bring your fucking shit, because I'm going to tell you right now, at the end of the year, if you don't fucking step to me, bitch, I'm going to open up a can of fucking whoop ass on your ass. You will need to be fucking looked at as anything but a fucking clown the rest of your fucking life. Okay. Now, I can't really make out a lot of what he said right there, so if somebody could do some interpretation, I know this uh, Twitter thing is kind of something a uh, fucking roof brace on your ass. I don't know what a roof brace is. I doubt that's what he said, but... Uh, uh, ICT, first of all, you are a fat fuck. You do not want to get in a fight with me. I would beat the fucking piss out of you, you fucking old fart. Uh, but dude, I will, I will take the fucking assault charge to get in a, in a brawl with you, bro. Um, give me a time, a date, a place. I will meet you there and I will fucking fist to cuffs your face. Um, so please, absolutely. You are a fucking piece of shit. You threatened my family. You threatened my wife. You threatened my kids. You are a fucking piece of shit. You, but you behind, you, you belong behind bars and give me the opportunity, bro, I'll take it. So I'll do it myself. Motherfucker. No, I am not everybody's fucking choice mentor. I am not fucking balanced. I don't give a fuck who likes my fucking ass, but come into my fucking house, come into my motherfucking house. 
Okay, first of all, your house, um, let's remind everybody, dude, nobody wants to come to your house. Your house is a fucking piece of shit, okay? I have already seen it. The, the, you, all the windows are the same size. This is the, this is the telltale sign of a cheap-ass house. You live in a fucking cookie-cutter house. Every one of these houses on this fucking block don't have fucking fences around them, unsecured. This is a fucking piece of shit that you live in, bro. And you say that you downsize. That's, that, is in, that is untrue. We've done the research on you. This was your biggest house you've ever owned, ever. This was your upgrade, bro, after you got mentorship. Um, I've got an email here that I'm going to show in just a moment where you claimed that you had bought your son's four hundred to five hundred thousand dollar homes well i have verified with them that is in true untrue as well everything you've ever said is a lie bro here's uh you know look your your wife's over here driving in a fucking uh, nissan bro here's you traveling back behind her you guys are you're acting like you're some 750 millionaire right but you're out here in public the thing is is you're not who you claim you are bro here's you getting your little fucking toyota corolla fixed over here bro you are a fat fuck you are a liar that is it you are a lying piece of garbage fraud you are a fraud here's you bent over oh look at me uh i'm driving my yellow uh fucking what is this uh supra Okay, and, and what do you try to, you, you try to trick people, making them think, oh, look, it's a, it's a, it's a Corvette, it's something cool. Bro, you, you are disgusting, and you act like, oh, you're this humble guy and everything. Do you hear your voice in this thing? You, you call yourself a Christian and all this other kind of stuff, too. It just makes me want to vomit, bro. You need to be taken out, period. All right, but as far as coming to your house or whatever, bro, invite me. Okay, I will come. I'll be there. I'll fucking take, like I said, I'll take the assault charge, bro. Uh, but this is, is stupid. You come out here and talking like this because you can't do a trading competition it's pretty sad bro so i can't fucking do something bitch 10 times what i can do fuck you i just 50 times yes 10 times i did say that if i cannot 10x your profits with algobox then i am a fraud because my system is too good it's not fair for me to trade against you you are a regular human you are you call yourself ict like there's something mystical about it you you think that you are the enigma you lie to people about this enigma thing the thing is is algobox is legit and yes i did say i will 10x your profits or I am a fraud and I will admit that you can trade if you can beat me even within 10x bro and now you're turning around saying you're gonna 50x bro then fine put up or shut up but seriously this this little rant right here you, you gotta you gotta quit bro you need to you need to take your pills that's what you fucking do and I'm gonna with one card and fucking that's what you start with you fucking asshole no idea what you said there See, I have to get out of the fucking house and do these types of things. My wife will be like, what the hell's going on with you? I got to let it out. I got to let it out, folks. It's fucking almost end of July. Somebody out there was supposed to be beating my motherfucking ass in the markets. And what? Um, I did. I literally beat you in three days of trading. Literally three days. I did more than you did your entire time that you were farting around uh, in and out, never live recording your trades, never live streaming your stuff. And you're absolutely horrid. You call yourself, uh, you, you know, Mr. Precision and everything. You were like barely 50%. You were a 1.1 profit factor on your trading and you barely even crossed 20 days of actual trading. It was disgusting. Yeah, I completely obliterated you, first of all, and you wouldn't even do it in a real trading competition or try to sit there and acknowledge that, uh, again, you're too scared to say my name. You are the biggest fucking ICT fraud pussy I've ever seen, bro. Oh, fuck. Am I still fucking waiting? Still waiting? Bro, you have mental problems. Like, literally, everybody sees you have mental problems. Everybody knows I called you out in public, then you acted like I didn't exist, acting like, oh, who, huh, what? You are a fraud. I fucking told all of you, these fucking assholes will never fucking stop. And you keep going back to this whole thing. These a-holes will never even step. Again, step really just implies that you kind of 
put your toe over the water and here, here's my foot. Hey, uh, I'll throw my hat in the ring. First of all, I did not just throw my whole hat. As I have said already, I have put my entire body. I have challenged you year after year after year. You continue to ignore it. You continue to pretend like it didn't happen. I beat Macro Hedge. I have won four trading competitions total, including beating your ass. I beat um, Oats to a Million. I beat um, Ross Cameron. Uh, I beat Macro Hedge. Uh, technically, I beat you because I already beat that one. And then some, listen, man, like you need to just cool your jets. I guess you come out here in your cars and you think that you just speak to yourself or whoever is, you know, listening through the dash and that nobody, you could just say whatever you want out here, I guess. Well, we're listening, bro. And you're full of shit. You won't step. Don't talk to me about I didn't step. It's you who won't do it because you are a fat fucking fraud. Never step. Never step. Wow, bro. Not one of them. Wow. Again, pretending as though Vinny Mini didn't exist is, uh, you know, it's pretty stupid and pathetic by this point. Like, you have some serious mental issues. But I'm a fucking fraud. Fuck you. Yeah, you are. Complain that I'm a fucking fraud, motherfuckers. I keep laying this shit down. Keep laying it down, laying it down, laying it down. But why are you responding to that, Michael? You have all these supporters. The supporters, you've already convinced. I don't need to talk about that. You know it. But I already warned you. <laughs> I have OCD. I'm obsessive. My eye is going to go to the nail. Dude, first of all, OCD... I've been diagnosed with OCD. Doesn't matter. All these little diagnoses and excuses for what you are or how you act doesn't mean anything. You can have OCD and be actually good at something. You're not good at anything. And when they raise their head up, you're just a fucking funny. liar. Because these people don't make money. These right, bro. Have... Okay, bro. Uh, your house, look, I've already shown my house. Dude, uh, you, you don't even have a fucking house, bro. My house is now worth $1.8 million. Your fucking place is a fucking piece of shit. Um, I, I don't, I don't want to hear about this, like, don't make money crap, bro. You get into a trading competition, put your money where your mouth is, and let everybody see what a terrible fucking shit-ass trader that you are. Let's go. Insecurity issues. Insecure, bro. This is what the, the very definition of what you're doing out here, sitting in a car where you can't talk to anybody else. You don't call me back. You don't call up on my phone lines. You are such a fucking pussy. You go out there and pretend that, oh, I call the miner's telephone when I fucking call you and leave a voicemail. You won't call back because you're not a man. You're a fucking pussy. Now, I might seem a little unhinged at times, like just a moment ago. A little unhinged, bro. You are a fucking maniac and you are a fucking fraud. I can assure you I'm very lucid as to what I'm going to be doing in the marketplace. You're lucid in what you do in the marketplace. Right, bro. All right. Well, forget what you're going to talk about in the marketplace. Let's do that, please. Okay, so there's your real ICT, folks. If you guys would like to uh, listen to a copy of that, we got that over in the ICT room over on the left. Um, in tomorrow's uh, edition, I'll be sharing with you guys ICT's absolutely terrible advice. Uh, he's going into this series he's calling The Ends, and he's talking about uh, putting his son into debt, weird, um, to encourage him for him to have a daily target. Absolutely disgusting. We'll talk about that one in tomorrow's. But in 10 pictures or less, here is the real ICT. This guy is a fraud. Here he is buying uh, lottery tickets over here. <laughs> the guy is a fucking scratch off whore. Uh, who wears glasses inside of a grocery store? What a shady fuck. Here he is, fat boy walking out of the grocery store after he's got his lotto tickets in hand. Hopping up inside. Now, let's go all the way back to 2015 and talk about some of the stuff that he has written uh, before in 2015. I'm certain you perhaps missed the occasion I divulged some of my background and experience. At risk of weighing copper, I've been at very large reporting positions. No, he hasn't. Both in currency futures and spoos and T-bonds. Uh-huh. Lies. Okay. My average position to spoos were 1,000 contracts intraday and 2,500 contracts of T-bonds simultaneously. Currencies, I have made 20 million in yen on the run-up in the 90s alone. That was the game changer. Okay, bro. The why are you broke? You are fucking broke. You've never lived in a big house. You are a liar. We've talked to everybody around you. They say that you're a liar. I know you're a liar. I've worked in the banking industry as an analyst and advisor to tiers 
uh, to tier traders and side by side with literal market makers. That is a lie. No, no evidence of that whatsoever. Uh, I know what they do intimately. I have made over 30 million USD in trading futures alone. Again, this is a 2015. He made these claims. This, it, these are lies. Zero evidence of any of this. He was living in a fucking dump in Dundalk, Maryland, period. Another 18.5 million in spot FX since 2004. Again, lies. I manage a $200 million fund for a corporate entity in downtown Baltimore since 2007. Zero evidence of any of these things. Folks, your man, ICT, is a fucking fraud. I have five children that all have $2 million trusts each. Oh, really? Well, then, <laughs> why is that news to them, huh? Because apparently that's not what you're what your son told me each and the two older ones have homes i purchased between 2013 and 2014 for the bro these don't exist do you see how this guy just lies this is not true uh not mansions or estates like i have but respectable homes 500k range so again he said at the time that he's living in a mansion. First of all, a mansion is defined by a home that has more than 8,000 square foot. Michael has never lived in a house with 8,000 square feet or more, although he claimed that he was living in a 12,000 square foot home when we found him in this dump that he's at right now. Let's just remind everyone next. Um, and given his kids 500K range homes, that is false. That is, that is all, these were all lies. I scaled back my size for preservation reasons. I know the markets are going to get whacked soon and my exposure is limited. I have funds in Swiss. Oh, really? <laughs> man, he just, man, he just yucks it up when he's talking, I tell you what. I've been talking to my wife for the last five years about leaving the States. <laughs> bro, you're so full of shit. I dabble in FX retail accounts, but I hold prime brokerage in, with City. Get Bro, get out of here. I trade interbank prices on my cash accounts, no leverage. This year was the slowest years for me. Uh, I've had multiple personal distractions. I look around and I can't complain. Take care, Michael. Oh my word, this was that was a that was a great one right there. Um, and we'll just we'll wrap up with this and we'll come back tomorrow for some more fun. Um, but while we're here, um, this is uh, 2011, 2016. The wonderful thing is, should you actually find my personal information and share it, I will press formal charges on you for stalking. Mikey, I'm waiting for that, bro. I have found you. I have reported you. I am out here to expose the truth on people who are frauds like yourself. You are defrauding people of their time and their money, wasting time on you because they think that you're something that you are not because you tell laborious lies like the ones I've just read here just a moment ago. And you, the real you is this unhinged, crazy ass maniac who thinks that you're better than other people so that's why you feel like you can justify the lies that you tell that is a fact i can find you faster than you can find me and i'll do it with you in handcuffs i won't warn you twice test me and see well I'm waiting <laughs>